today are going to be to ensure that we have a working pneumatic system, which is great because we had already completed that last night. And then for us for our end effector, the gripping mechanism that we had talked about last night, we're going to pretty much get that finalized and get a prototype made and hope and possibly if we have time tonight, do the actual, uh, create the actual uh, component and put it on the robot, put it on the actual chassis. Uh, the other end effector that we're gonna be working with is the climbing mechanism, which details are still a little uh, spotty about, but we're gonna uh, hammer out those details and then we're gonna uh, comp or compile that and then have a full ready design completed by the end of the day. So our proposed climbing mechanism is basically a gear victor motor connected to a single tape measure. Uh, this motor will uh, extend the tape measure up to the 8 foot bar and uh, retract it lifting the robot up hopefully. Uh, <clears throat> we took this motor hooked up to a battery, put this here, was it by hand or did you strap it with something? I think they strapped it, it with that. Here, yeah. And fed the, uh, that tape through it. And then just ran it to see if it so would instead run of a, So instead of another wheel, we just use a bar. A solid plate. Because in theory, if this wheel is strong enough to move that even against a solid plate, it should be strong enough to retract it with the robot on it. That's, a, that's way enough for them what we need. We can put it on the ground and reach up there. That is perfect. Thank you. Some of the lane breaks. I wouldn't just stop. Stop. We're um we're running up the LEDs, but we're trying to figure out what exactly is going on with the um there's a problem with the board where we're trying to apply 12 volts of power through the VRM, but whenever we try to pass it through the breadboard, it's not working, and it's not lighting up properly. And then we're trying to program the LEDs as well so that we can get different functions as opposed to just being, you know, just a single color. A problem we've run into is that we don't have the end effector completed um, as far as the, the call mechanism and the, um, the climber and so we don't know exactly where everything's going to be uh, go or, and how it's going to fit onto, the, onto the, the robot and so the board, the electronics board can't have a like, final or permanent position so we have to, well as far as that goes we're going to have to wait on those to be completed before we can actually find a place that the, the board can go. Um, as far as the LEDs go, we had an issue where they were overheating. Um, it was or it was causing it was drawing too much power and causing the VRM to overheat. But we've fixed that by um, adding new connectors and making sure that it doesn't overheat whenever we run it for too long. Hi. Currently, we are testing and uh, trying to figure out what's the best driving strategy is for our drivetrain system. Uh, we decided to use our K drive to move around the field because we feel like that give us the most intuitive controls for all our controllers because we'll be swapping controllers constantly de depending on what situations we'll be using this robot for. However, our end effectors really enjoy having the ability to pivot within place. So with our K-Drive, so we end up with a problem where whenever we're trying to turn left to right, we're pivoting within one of the rear wheels. So we're doing this pivot motion. However, if we decide to also map the tank drive to the trigger so that way we also give drivers the ability to do an in-place rotation and uh, have a more precise adjustment. Our two proposed <coughs> grabbing mechanisms, uh, the first one being a uh, scissor lift where a pneumatic cylinder will actuate uh, 
two metal bars that are cross uh, hinged in the middle act just like scissors and the uh, other pros gravity is very similar still uh, two pieces of metal with a pneumatic cylinder but this this time the pneumatic cylinder is uh, actuating the arms uh, like a sandwich so it's important to rapidly prototype your designs and so on hand we had some cardboard I just cut out um, a mock-up of our end effector and just to test the functionality and let everyone see exactly how it's going to be uh, how it's going to function Great. To operate the actual uh, actuation for the gripper, we have in this cylinder be attached to these two bars. The two bars aren't fully bent yet and aren't fully uh, drilled through yet. There's but just to give you a half bent one. Yes. This is one uh, we're using a inch and a half. Yeah, inch and, inch and, and a half diameter. Inch and a half diameter uh, steel that we found that we actually just found as scrap, and then a inch diameter piece conduit. of conduit. Three rollers and these two are stationary and this one is driven on the wheel with a lead screw that forces it into the middle of the other two. So it creates a kink and the idea is that you can then roll that kink even across the whole of whatever section you're doing. So you can get longer bends that are very even in, uh, in curvature. second day now and we've just got the final piece of the end effector mounted and everything's starting to come together. Um, now we have an idea of where we're going to be able to have the electronics board and also the uh, climber is going on the back side so it's not going to interfere with what our plans as far as where the board is going to go. So our plan for tomorrow, uh, for the for our grabber, we are going to add a second pivot point to uh, hopefully uh, balance out the arm and so the uh, worm gear doesn't get stuck. If that doesn't work, we're going to move the worm gear to the middle, the center of the robot, to uh, balance it out even more. As for the climber, we are going to hope tomorrow. Uh, the uh, glue should be molded, so our custom uh, hub should be able to connect to the motor and to the uh, tape measure and we're going to test to see what kind of weight it can hold and then hopefully mount it and climb some things. I feel like I'm not struggling. <laughs> oh my god.